Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and conceptual problem from a uh, Dirac delta function uh, related to uh, integration based on properties of Dirac delta function, right? So here uh, we have to find the value of this integral uh, that is from minus infinity to infinity and we have x square plus cos x and delta of 2x minus pi by 3, right? So here I will solve this integral by making use of one important property of Dirac delta function. So let us start. So let us first call this integral as i, right? Now see, uh, here we have uh, in the integrand we have uh, delta of 2x minus uh, pi by 3, right? And uh, while solving this integral, we have to take care of uh, this term, right? So what we will do here, uh, we'll make use of one important property of Dirac delta function, uh, which says that delta of ax is equal to 1 over uh, mod of a and here we have delta of x right so this is an important property of Dirac delta function so here uh, delta of ax is equal to 1 over absolute value of a and delta of x and provided a is not equal to 0 right so we'll try to uh, apply this property to this function right see here we have 2 that is 2x so what we will do uh, we'll take 2 common and uh, then we have here x minus uh, pi over 6 right so we'll write delta of 2x minus pi by 3 as delta of uh, 2 times x minus pi by 6 now see uh, this form is now similar to this one so here uh, this 2 is our a so we can now write 1 over mod of 2 and we have delta of x minus pi by 6 so mod of 2 is simply uh, 2 so we have half delta of x minus pi by 6 right so now we can write this integral i as minus infinity to infinity and here we have x square plus cos x and for this term we have half delta of x minus pi by 6 and here we have dx right. Now we can take half outside the integral we have minus infinity to infinity x square plus cos x and we have delta of x minus uh, pi by 6 and here we have dx. So now uh, let us uh, take this function as f of x right. So let us take uh, f of x as x square plus cos x and now see uh, this integral takes the form half and we have minus infinity to infinity here we have f of x and we have delta of x minus uh, pi by 6 and dx right okay now here uh, in order to evaluate this integral let us take the definition of Dirac delta function right so now Dirac delta function is defined uh, as uh, integral that is minus infinity to infinity f of x and delta of x minus uh, a dx right so Dirac delta function can also be defined like this or from this integral so uh, here the value of this integral is f of a right so it means uh, this delta function it acts on this function f of x at this point that is a that is x minus a is 0 so we have x is equal to a right so this delta function has the value at this point x is equal to a only right and this point x is equal to a uh, it acts on 
this function f of x that is the value of the function at x is equal to a is the value of this integral so now if we compare this integral with this one then pi by 6 is the value of a right so x is equal to a so here we have x minus pi by 6 so the value of a is pi by 6 so now the value of this function or this integral is half and the value of this integral is the value of this function f of x at this point that is pi by 6. So here we have f of pi by 6, right? So we have half and now f of pi by 6 can be obtained uh, from this expression. So here we have x square plus cos x. So we have uh, pi by 6 square plus cos of pi by 6 right so we can uh, solve this expression so we have half and here we have pi square over 36 plus uh, cos pi by 6 and cos pi by 6 is cos 30 degrees that is equal to uh, square root of 3 over 2 right so the value of this integral i can be written as uh, multiplying these two terms by half so we have pi square over 72 plus square root of 3 over uh, 4 right so the value of this integral is given by this expression hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss one important integral based on Dirac delta function right and here uh, we have to evaluate uh, this integral uh, from minus infinity to infinity x cos square x delta of square root of x minus square root of pi dx, right? So here uh, delta is the uh, Dirac delta function. So viewers, in our earlier videos, we have already solved some examples on uh, integration based on Dirac delta function right so in this lecture uh, we will solve this integral and uh, we will see one important property of Dirac delta function uh, which will be used uh, to evaluate this integral right so let us call this integral as i so now see here we have uh, the function uh, delta of square root of x minus square root of pi right and uh, in this problem our prime aim is to uh, simplify uh, this delta function right so here uh, we'll use one important property of uh, Dirac delta function uh, which says that uh, delta of square root of x minus square root of a is equal to uh, 2 times the square root of a and delta of x minus a right so this is an important result uh, in Dirac delta function so this is an important uh, property of uh, Dirac delta function and we'll use this property uh, to simplify this integral Right. So here we have delta of square root of x minus square root of pi. So if we compare uh, square root of x minus square root of pi with this one, then we can see that a is equal to pi. Right. So according to this property, uh, delta of square root of x minus square root of pi is two times square root of pi. And here we have delta of x minus pi, right? So now uh, this integral I can be written with the help of uh, uh, this property that is uh, minus infinity to infinity. And here we have x cos square x. And for this term, we have 2 root pi and here we have delta of x minus pi and dx 
right now 2 root pi is a constant so we can take it outside the integral sign so we have 2 root pi and we have minus infinity to infinity x cos square x and delta of x minus pi uh, dx right so now we have this integral right and if we compare this integral with this one that is minus infinity to infinity f of x uh, delta of x minus a uh, dx then the value of this integral is equal to f of a right because see uh, here we have delta of x minus a and this point x is equal to a it acts on this function or in other words we can say that the delta function acts on uh, this function f of x at this point x is equal to a so the value of this integral is equal to the value of the function at this point x is equal to a right so here we have a is equal to pi and this is f of x right so our f of x is x cos square x so the value of this integral is 2 root pi and we have here uh, x cos square x and we'll evaluate uh, this expression at x is equal to uh, pi. So now we have 2 root pi and uh, here we have pi for x will take pi and we have cos square of pi right and we know that cos pi is cos 180 degrees that is equal to minus 1. So cos square pi is equal to uh, minus 1 square. So this quantity becomes positive. So i is uh, 2 times uh, pi raised to half. This is square root of pi and here we have uh, power 1. So these two powers get added. So we have 2 times pi uh, raised to uh, 3 over 2. So the value of this integral is equal to uh, 2 times uh, pi raised to uh, 3 over 2, right? So viewers, in the next video, uh, we'll see how to prove uh, these type of properties based on uh, Dirac delta function.